What's up? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to do some super high pull-ups like the ones I just did. Now with the standard pull-up, you're pulling to your upper chest before descending back down into starting position. But when doing high pull-ups, you want to pull to your lower chest or even your waistline. Now with high pull-ups, you're going to want to pull at a more horizontal position when pulling to your waistline as this movement is a combination of a pull-up and a lat pull-down. High pull-ups will not only develop muscle and strength in your back, lats, and biceps, but give you more explosive pulling power as well, making other advanced exercises exercises like the muscle up and the one arm pull up so much easier. Now before we start learning the very first steps on how to do high pull ups, it's important that you start with a strong foundation so that your learning process is a lot easier and to ensure your success. So before we get started, you want to make sure that you can do at least 10 solid consecutive pull ups with perfect form. If you've never done a pull up in your life or if you're having trouble reaching 10 pull ups, you should definitely check out my video, how to do your first pull up. In that video, I show you step by step how to achieve your very first pull up and go from zero to 20 repetitions. And once you've built your foundation, you're ready to get started and to get this routine that I'm going to show you today right on your phone make sure you download the Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store open up to the YouTube workout section you should find this routine and you're ready to go now with each exercise it's gonna get progressively harder and harder but we're breaking down the components to the high pull-ups so each exercise is equally as important so make sure you train all of them to achieve your high pull-ups and chances are the one that's your weakest in or the one that's hardest to do is the one that's gonna give you the most results now starting off with the very first exercise it's gonna be somewhat of a warm-up but very important to master your pull-ups that's going to be scapular shrugs let's go for 10 reps you want to hang from the bar shoulder width apart with a strong grip who's your core and your whole body tight pointing your toes keeping your feet tight together you're going to retract your scapulas bringing your shoulder blades back trying to touch each other you don't want to pull with your arms or bend your arms at all you want your shoulders retracting doing all the work just make sure you're squeezing the bar and you're bringing your shoulder blades back all right, so there we have scapular shrugs. Now when mastering your pull-ups or mastering high pull-ups, you always wanna make sure that you have scapular shrugs into your routine. The scapular shrugs is the very first movement that you initiate when you start to do a pull-up. So if you have a strong scapular shrug, that's gonna make your pull-ups a lot stronger and it's gonna increase your pull-up repetitions. Now moving into the second exercise is gonna be weighted pull-ups. Now for weight, I'm gonna be using the Harrier weight vest. You can pick one up, chrisaria.com. We're gonna have this new color, forest green, just a couple of days on the shop. But if you don't have a weight vest and you wanna do this right now, you can always hold a dumbbell between your legs or put a book bag on with some books in it. We're gonna be going for eight repetitions. All right, there we have some weighted pull-ups. Now weighted pull-ups are super important for high pull-ups. When you start adding weight onto your pull-ups, even if it's just five pounds, your pull-ups are gonna start to feel a lot lighter, allowing you to be more explosive with your pull-ups. And the more weight and more weighted pull-ups you do, the more muscle you're gonna build, the stronger you're gonna get, and the more explosive you're gonna get. That's why weighted pull-ups is a must. And once you've acquired some explosive pulling strength from weighted pull-ups, you're ready for the next exercise. And this one was a total game changer for me. This is gonna be seated L-sit pull-ups. This exercise can be done on a low bar, like a Smith machine in a gym, or on the side of a dip bar like I'm doing right now. So we're gonna be in a seated position, go for some L-sit pull-ups, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then break it down. Now these are so effective because you're able to sit down and then go straight into your pull-ups. When you're sitting down, you're in a dead weight position. You're gonna have to pull with pure strength straight up, and from this angle, it's gonna be a lot easier to pull to your waistline. And as you lower yourself back down to starting position, you can go ahead and reset and prepare to give 100% maximum effort on your next rep. All right, so there we have seated L-sit pull-ups. This was the main move that I used to develop my strength to be able to do high pull-ups and eventually strict form muscle-ups, pulling myself straight up with no swing. When you first try these, you may only pull up to your chest line and that's okay. Eventually, the more you do these, you're gonna start pulling higher and higher and you're also gonna start training your body to be in a position to start pulling higher, simulating the same movement path and engaging the same muscles as the high pull-up. And the more weighted pull-ups you do, the easier the seated L-sit pull-up is gonna be. Now, moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna be going for hanging lat pull-downs which is one of the main components to the high pull-up. As I mentioned before, the high pull-up is a combination of a pull-up and a lat pull-down. I'm gonna go for seven repetitions and then show you how to do it. All right, so there we have the hanging lat pull downs. Now this movement is really gonna help you bring your pulling motion to your waistline. As you can see, when you're bringing it to your waistline, it's gonna be more of a range of motion to travel than pulling to your chest. 
So you can start off this exercise by hanging with your hands shoulder width apart, and it's really gonna help if you have an overgrip or at least a really solid grip on the bar. To have an overgrip, which is a really strong grip, you just slightly wrap your hand a little bit more over the bar. Now from hanging position, you wanna keep your core and the rest of your body tight. Retract your scapulas just like a scapula shrug. Lean back and try to bring your hands to your hips without sacrificing form. Throughout the entire duration of this exercise, you wanna try to keep your body as straight as you can, just like when you're doing a pull up. And the main key is to lean back and pull down as hard as you can while reaching tracking your scapulas. Now moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna try to apply all the strengths that we've developed from the previous exercises and apply it to this next move, else pull-ups. I'm gonna go for seven reps and then break it down. All right, there we have L-sit pull-ups. And as you can see with this one exercise, I'm using my scapula shrugs, I'm using the strength that I've developed from my weighted pull-ups, the explosive power from my seated L-sit pull-ups, and my lat pull-down strength, helping me pull closer to my waistline with the hanging lat pull-downs. You really wanna apply everything that you've learned into this one exercise. And when you first get started, you may only be pulling up to your chest line, but the more you practice this and all the other progressions, you're gonna start pulling a whole lot higher very fast. And if you haven't developed the strength to do super high pull-ups by this point, this last exercise is definitely gonna solidify it. That's going to be dead hang explosive pull-ups. I'm going to go for five single reps and then show you how to do it. All right, so there we have the single dead hang explosive pull-up. Now these work just like the seated L-sit pull-ups. You wanna pull straight from a dead hanging position. You wanna jump on the bar and hang, wait until you have absolutely no momentum. That's when you're gonna pull as hard and as high as you can using everything that you've learned and applying it into this one exercise. Remember, keep your body as tight, strict, and straight as possible. You don't wanna use any momentum at all. You want it to be completely dead weight. And when you pull, you wanna pull with everything you got as explosive as possible. It's only one rep. With one rep, you're really gonna be able to focus in on all your explosive power, allowing you to pull up a lot higher than when you're doing a set of pull-ups. And eventually, after diligently training this one strict dead hang pull-up, along with the whole entire routine, you're gonna be able to do these dead hang explosive pull-ups consecutively, and that's gonna turn into high pull-ups. I'm gonna go for five repetitions and show you what that looks like. All right, so there we have high pull-ups. There is exactly how to do it step-by-step step from the very beginning. If you enjoyed the video and if you learned something, then definitely smash that like button. And don't forget to get this routine on your phone and full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs that I create on a weekly basis with specific goals in mind, like burning fat while simultaneously building muscle with minimal to no equipment, then make sure you go to harriapro.com and become a member. Once you're a member, you're gonna get full access to all my programs and routines on my Harry Pro app. And don't forget to download the Harry Pro app in the App Store Google Play Store to take these workouts with you everywhere. It's like having me as a personal trainer right in your pocket. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you're working on and what you'd like to see in the next video and share this video with a friend that wants to learn how to do some super high pull-ups. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on because I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. And I just dropped my brand new Harry collection. You can check it out right now at chrisharrier.com. A lot of the pieces to the collection you've already seen on previous videos videos like the white track pants, black track pants, camo windbreakers, workout shorts, and even the pants that I'm wearing right now. Make sure to go to chrisharriot.com and shop your favorite pieces before we're all sold out because we're selling out fast. So if you want to get the new weight vest, make sure you go to chrisharriot.com. And with that said, I'll see you next Thursday. Mad love. Peace out.